All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with episode seven of the Vanguard character in Mass Effect. Last episode, we went and did some optional quests. Um, we killed the two crime lords. So you only got to see one, unfortunately, um, because I was having trouble with the uh, um, graphics card crashing on me and all that. And I lost some of the recordings. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to deal with what I have, so... Anyway, let's get down to it. Okay, so what adventure are we going going on today, I wonder? We're going to Novaria. The cool thing of this uh, setup, me doing the videos like this, is I'm watching them just like you. I, I forget what all I did in these videos. I mean, I know I played the game but and recorded these videos, but... Um, I forgot what I did in each video, so, which is good because I'm watching them just like you. So. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Normandy. We will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah, what an asshole that guy was, too. So, looks like we're gonna head out to Navaria. No, wait a minute. I don't go to Novaria yet. Looks like I'm going to go downstairs for something. Don't know what, but... Do I get supplies, I wonder? I, I think I do. I, th I think I look for new armor and weapons and stuff like that, so... And I think I prep the characters, too. And I don't know why I didn't cut this out, but... I didn't. I think I saw this video was nothing but... Uh, Novaria, because this is a one of the main missions, so it does take time to do. So, um, spoiler alert, Novaria is the only place we go to today, so... Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Medium armor. Uh, nope, not better. Um, Brogan. Do we buy it? I think so. Okay. I buy the pistol and the shotgun for myself. All right, cool. And I think I bought that for Liara, yeah. I've, I must already have a shotgun for Shepard, okay? And I must already have a pistol for him, too. Alright. Cool. So, Liara, we're gonna set her up. I love how they kind of give her a camel toe. <laughs> they give the females kind of a camel toe with their um, armor. I don't know why, but they totally do. I don't put that new armor on Rex. Guess not. 
Oh, maybe I do. No, I don't. I work with Liara again. To put on a pistol for her. Okay, and so I did cut out the rest of it. I must have sold the rest of the junk. Okay, cool. So I do bring Liara and Tally. And you'll see why I bring Liara here in a minute. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. So Liara has some points I need to work with. There we go. Advanced singularity. Stasis. We want to advance stasis, it looks like. She's an easy one to balance. She is totally an easy one to balance. That's what I love about Liara. That is exactly what I love about Liara. Okay, and I think we're ready for everyone. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. That's far enough. I'm on important business. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Nobody takes my weapon, damn it. It would not be wise to search for the Geth unarmed. Nobody takes my weapon. Charge and lock! We are authorized to use lethal force. You have to the count of three to surrender your weapons. Fuck you. Two. Three. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Yeah, asshole. Spectre, I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Well, protectors, don't mind the phones. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Someone pissed in your security chief's coffee today? Probably. She takes her job seriously. She is a valuable asset to the company. One of my and you're off by two letters. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia. She is here. She's a threat to galactic peace. I'm here to bring her in or put her down. Exactly. Doesn't like having outside problems dumped in its lap, Commander. Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to lead this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. We talked about her before. But things change when you're up against something. 
If it's her or me, who would you shoot? Exactly, damn it. What I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. I don't think that's likely. But you can try. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Friendly. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanshan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. Right? This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Smuggling, in other words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Fees, you say? Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. So now we gotta go all the way back to the ship just to pick up the package. I don't know why I showed this part just to pick up the package, but I think I showed I do it just to show you where it's at. Um And then I cut back to here. That way then you don't have to see me go r running back and forth. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. You're trying to make me laugh. You think I'm here to amuse you, to make funny sputtering noises when you offer an insult instead of a reward. Right. N no. This one would never... This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. Good. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Show me what you're selling. Of course. So what all am I gonna get here? Tight armor, is that any better? No. Check the light armor. Check the light armor for Liara. It is better for, well, somewhat better for Liara. But it looks like I do buy it for Liara. Get the license. You always need your license. Do I equip it for I do. I do. Yes, I do. I equip it for Liara. Yep. Okay. How may this one assist? I don't know why I didn't cut the rest of this out, but whatever. Of course. Whatever.
Orion. Um, but it's limited. But it is better. Okay. And I think the Predator is better for Mr. Rex. Always get your limited items because sometimes they are better than um, the common items. How may this one assist? Show me what you're selling. Of course. And they don't have shit. Do I buy all three? I think I do. Okay. I should have left the hammerhead rounds on because they add weapon force. They'll blow your enemies back. Alright. So finally, we're moving on. Finally. So, I go here, and I end up kind of doing this wrong a little bit, but... Oh well, you know... Bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Bitch. You ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. No, they don't. Much of VH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. All right. Can I 
help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, Sales. Were you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. Mr. Vargas, I'm here to talk business with you. If you'd rather speculate on politics, I can visit another Gen Inch firm. You have my full attention, Shepard. I'm merely getting a handle on my negotiating position. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Mars Gene's clotting enhancement improves speed by 16%. Right. So you've done some research. That's their official claim. However, we believe they cherry-picked their sample to show optimum results. The numbers we provide are strict mathematical averages. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. That's the commercial price for individual purchasers. I'm offering you millions of jobs, Mr. Vargas. That's worth more than some stock sensory upgrades. Yeah. I'll give you a cautious probably. There is a standard discount for bulk orders, but I can't authorize that. I can push it upstairs. I'm sure someone will get back to you on it. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. I wear a lot of hats, Mr. Vargas. Some days I shut down criminals, some days I defuse nukes, some days I like to enjoy private vices. You understand me? I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to doing business with the Citadel. We, we succeeded on that. Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. I could easily call Mr. Vargas and tell him what I just did. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Good day, bitch. <laughs> now, I should not have done what I did next. I should have waited, but... Oh, well. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. You know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. Alright. All right. So now we go and talk to the administrator, I believe. Is that where we're going? Yep, that's where we're going. Okay. You know, listening to this on a headset, you get to hear the background noise that you wouldn't hear on a speaker. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Okay. Mm. 
You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Funny thing about humans, we're pretty loyal to our homeworld. My homeworld is clean. Poverty is non-existent. If you take some perverse pride in that overheated, acid-washed slum, that is your business. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. And I represent the second guessing of galactic law. Just so we understand each other. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Let him be stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Asshole. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Henchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. Okay, now we're back at the bar, and this is why I shouldn't have done that in the first place. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. By rents, you mean bribes for Analeas. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas's actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds like a fair trade. Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? Okay. Okay, we're going to the uh, Synthetics Insights office. I don't know why I didn't cut uh, getting there, but oh well. It's probably because it's not very far. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah, it's downstairs, stupid. There you go. Yeah, it's near the garage. There's another way to get the pass, but I do this way because you get more experience this way. Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What'll you do if I don't? You're the Spectre, right? 
Laura Keene is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. That makes you a criminal. I can kill criminals. You're bluffing. How do you rate your confidence in that? 90th percentile? Is a 10% chance of death acceptable? Right? He ain't paying me enough to take on specters or alliance troops or whatever. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Yeah, but your guys end up shooting at me, so... Throw your ass. They must be up. There we go. Ugh. All right. Ugh -ho 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 -ho. Shotgun blast to the chest. So now we want to search the office because you get a ton of items here. Well, not a ton, but you get items here. My point and we'll get that lock crate in a minute we'll get it on the way out crossfire how does that commercial go crossfire god I can't remember how the song goes I, I mean I, I can hear it but I can't I don't know the lyrics to it. Crossfire! I always wanted that game and I never got it. I never got it as a kid. You know, I always wanted it and I, I never got it because my parents were too scared that I'd lose the BBs to it. What the hell was that? We'll pick this lock and... Uh-oh, here's one of those glitches again. See, I don't know all the money Bioware put into this game. I don't know why the hell they couldn't fix this. But for some damn reason, they could not fix this, and I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. And it just drives me in fucking insane, because they put in all this money in the redoing this game and cleaning it up and all that, but for some damn reason... For some damn reason, it still has the glitches in it. And I, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand why there was such an oversight on that. And you would think with how games are nowadays, they could just make a patch for it. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Your point? Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You are here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. You expect us to feel bad for stopping you? If you want a fight, I'll give you one. He talk to talk, but see if you can walk after I break your leg. See, look at that, I can pick up two enemies with my lift.
See, even the enemies glitch. Because the sniper rifle isn't even pointing at us. And yet the laser was pointing at us. Again, I, I just don't understand why they can't fix that. Why they can't make a patch to fix this problem. They totally could do it, they just don't. And what's worse is EA owns Bioware, so you'd think a big company like that would want their game to work right. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Wonder what she wants. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Harasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. If your executive board loses a few million credits, it's not my problem. I have my own mission. Yes, yes, fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. Right? If you help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. I'll consider it and get back to you. If you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Okay. So now we go back to... The Anal to Analeas' office and talk to Parsini. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. That's some gratitude you got there. Sorry, I'm used to having my guard up. When people find out I'm internal affairs, they treat me like a traitor. While you were working- Well, you are a snitch. <laughs> garage, be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Okay, so we leveled up, and now... What am I gonna level up, I wonder? Barrier, yep.
Electronics for Liara. Hacking for Callie. Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Aleutsk Valley. All right. Now, here's something interesting about this game. Um, around here, the game doesn't... In the original, it doesn't render if you're using an AMD graphics card for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was because the original game was built on the NVIDIA platform. But um, in the original version, you had to get a mod to get it to work. So you use sabotage on that to um, make the explosion bigger. You throw the destroyer What did you do here, Commander? Only what I had to. I didn't ask the Geth to attack. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. We may be seeing a lot more of these things in the coming months. For three centuries, everyone has said the Geth don't come out of the Vale. What is happening out there? The same thing that happens to all species, Captain. Evolution. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. Maybe. There probably is. that. Eh. So now we drive. This is again linear. You just follow the path to get to where you're going. There's no branching paths or anything. So this is just a drive on the path and you get there. So just whatever you do, don't fall off the cliff or you'll die. There I was having a glitch, I believe. That's why I cut that out. So here you get some free items over here, but you gotta be quick because of the hazard. Take care of your turret first. Take care of your gas. Boom, boom, boom. There's a crate here we need to get. Um, only reason I'm getting it is you get some experience for opening it. Or no, you get credits, but still. I'll take the credits. Oh, 
All right. I don't think I go back for the upgrade kit. No, I don't. I'd say fuck it and just move on. There we go, another one too. So we'll take it. There we go. There's one there. There, we got him. Machine gun for you. <laughs> like, I don't get why they have these, like, glass tunnel things. Why would you build something like that? I, I don't get it. I mean, why wouldn't you just let it be, like, rock or whatever, you know? Okay, so we leveled up again. Looks like barrier. The way we're gonna go. Electronics for... The Aura. We're gonna master AI hacking. And then the next one will probably be damping to master. Oh, but yeah, so damping would be the way to go. Damping would definitely be the way to go. Okay, so now we go inside. 
You go in on foot. What do I plan on doing here? Sabotage and overload? Okay. Okay. Throw him on the ground. Uh. Okay. Shoot him. I believe there's two more to shoot. There are. They're up here. Ooh, am I not going to get this one? Oh, I am going to get it. Okay. We're going to uh, warp. There we go. All peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Right? Get some free stuff. you we missed on that one there we go and there's a couple more to shoot lift you up so we can shoot you uninhabited boom and we shot him in the face <laughs> uh oh that doesn't sound good. What was that? Animals? Wind? This place is in bad shape. Aminals? Them don't look like very friendly aminals. Animal crackers in my soup! Monkeys and rabbits loop to loop! <laughs> Xenobiology is not Maybe someone in the labs knows. What are you using assault rifles for, Tally? Get your fucking pistol out or shotgun. Say, about Shirley Temple, didn't they end up finding out she had a drug problem when she grew up? I 
I know one of the didn't the one of the Brady kids have a drug problem as well. I know all three boys ended up. I know all three of the um, Brady kids ended up getting with Florence Henderson. And then Greg and Marsha, they, you know, they boned, you know. It's Marsha Brady. Who, who wouldn't want to bone that? This is easy to do. You need to switch the blue to either core two or core three. So core three needs to um, go over to two. There you go. And then core one goes to three. Or two goes to. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Core one goes to two. Core two goes to one. Core three goes to. No, put it back on three. Core one goes to two. There you go. That goes to. There you go. That goes there. That goes there, and that goes there. See, I'm a cheap bastard. I don't need to use Omni Gel. <laughs> it looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Help would be great. Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to binary helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? No. Nope. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Okay, so what do I do here? I don't know what I do with Liara. Why do I max electronics? Damping! Damping! God, why did you waste the points on electronics? User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required.
There's the landlines repaired. Oh, there's another bug. Reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Why it keeps having to say that, I don't know, but it does, so... Now entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay. Open you. Oh, you jumped up right in front of me. Look at that. Manual restart required. Ugh. And there's one up here. They hide up here. You need to kill it. Or else it'll keep blocking your, um... It'll keep blocking your um, radar. So, whoosh! There we go. And there's nothing out there. You just come up here for some free items. User alert. But I go out there like an idiot and think there is something out there. Oh, there is something out there. I forgot about that. There is a weapons locker out there, isn't there? I forgot about that, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we go. Okay, so now we've killed everybody. Now we don't have to worry about anything else. We just come down here and fix the H3 fuel line. There we go. We've completed the repairs to peak 15. Easy when you know how. <laughs> Now we go back to the beginning and we'll just go on the tram to get to where we're supposed to go. Ooh, a Nexus Omni Tool. Does it do what I need? Is it a upgrade for Miss Tally's aura? Let's find out. It is. It is. We'll take it. She gets a huge cooldown bonus. Decontamination. 
Navigation and Transit Hub. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks like the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Control group, loosen them. They're in... We can't escape. We've the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the fact struck. Without why you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? Yeah. He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. Okay, we'll fix this. And you'll see why in a second. Burn, baby, burn! Just like Axel from Kingdom Hearts. Burn, baby! They blew their load all over me. Okay, here we are, part two. Well, technically, part three. This is easy to do. I don't know why I did this for a screenshot, but I did, so... Okay, we go in this one, it looks like. And we have to go in the right one. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I take it you've encountered those things. Encountered, fought, seen men ripped apart by. We're all working on stems. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. Right? The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. I'm packing fire and steel. They want to fight with claws and teeth? It's their funeral. You got my support. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go away, Tally! Shit! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts. And they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. 
Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Right? There we go. Yeah, that was starting to hurt a little bit. There. There we go. Now it's that's better. That's better. That was starting to hurt a little bit. Now, still feels a little tight. There. Are you here to secure the situation? Hardeskoski. Shoot every monster I see. Isn't that the last name of the guy who made Dexter's Laboratory? I'm certain you are having strong feelings, but what has happened here? It is our fault. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They should have destroyed it. Why hatch it? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. We'll take care of her later. No, listen! The Rachni are intelligent species. They achieve star travel. They are not animals. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get near the Oh, shit! We take the purge codes and then we go in this way and we deal with the neutron purge. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Okay. So all you do is run. Don't fight these things. Just Well, I end up fighting these things, don't I? Because I want to see how many I can take out. And it looks like I was able to take them all out. Yeah. Yeah, why do I waste the points maxing electronics? Or not electronics, but um, decryption. Why, why do I do or electronics? Whatever, you know, I shouldn't have done that. We blew up the lab. Uh, 
Okay, so now I'm looking for everyone. Where the hell are they? Oop. I'm sorry. Hit that. We've got orders from Venezia. Open fire! Oh shit. Yeah, don't waste your powers. Yeah, nail him. Throw him on the ground. Boom. Boom, we kill those two. And now we're just waiting for cooldown for the... There we go. And now... We kill the drone. Boom. And I don't know why I go down to the... Uh, med lab down here, but for some reason I do. Well, I do get a free bit of items here, so at least it's not for nothing. All right. Then the mirror terminal, and then that's it. Ah, Liara got stuck. Again, you'd think they'd fix all these glitches with all the money Bioware put into, um, not really remaking, but, um, modernizing this game. That's what I was trying to Sabotage, not overload. War lift. Bro. The mine didn't work, so boom. I don't know why that's so much fun, but it is. It, it's just so much fun. Warp you. Sabotage! But that works too, using a grenade. That was actually kind of cool. Throwing a grenade on those. <laughs> okay, and then we go down here. privilege of being a mother there is power in creation to shape a life turn it toward happiness or despair her children were to be ours raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies I won't be moved by sympathy no matter who you bring into this confrontation I have no idea what you're talking about and I don't care indeed what have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Yeah, exactly! The poor mask. <laughs> I don't know if she puts us in stasis while she calls in her little bitches, but you'll see in a minute that I'll take them down without a fucking problem. Do not worry about Benezia. You just take out her little bitches.
There's one Asari down. There's one gat down, two gats down, three gats down, with a level. Boom. You, but I missed. Up you go. Kill you. Kill you. And you. And there should be one left. Here, there it is. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. I expected better from the Sari Commando. So did I. I will not betray him. You will. You... <coughs> you must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination. I love how they show Benezia's tits. <laughs> People are not themselves around Saren. They even show the gap in between. Worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful mass effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You, sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Die. Yeah, buddy. Daughter in the face. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. First you turn on the council, now on Sarah. You're not loyal to anything, are you? Nope. I suppose that is how history will know me. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... Again, I don't know why I maxed out electronics. I, I really don't.
this one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. I didn't come here to talk to bugs. You are not in harmony with those who hoped to control us. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Make your peace with the galaxy. The Rachni are a dead race. Damn right. Stop feeling and think. Even if you disagree with Asari morals, you must see she could be an ally. Is our kind so frightening? You would seek our silence if you cannot muffle our songs? If you cannot have us as your obedient claws? This time, stay dead. We will not embrace the great silence. Die, bitch, die! Alright, now we just get out of here. Back to the tram we go, which there's a shortcut right here. And here we go! Why they make you go through the tram ride is beyond me, but they do. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mu Relay? The Mu Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. Right. We're done here. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Save the sermon. I'm just here to follow up on my report. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? Found them and wiped them out. Do you take pleasure from committing genocide, Shepard? Depends on the species, Turian. <laughs> Commander, <laughs> you are addressing a member of the council. You will show the proper respect. Whoops. And we're out. 
<laughs> well, that's gonna be the end. Oh, no, no, it's not. We got this. We need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become awkward. Awkward? Uh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. <laughs> so jealous? Of you? You're not even our species. Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smartassing me, I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Yeah, fight! I love it when women fight over me. Damn right! Sorry, Commander. That fantasy is not gonna happen. We're not married, Shepard. You wanna get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. Why do I have to make a choice? Maybe the three of us could... Damn right! Put around Shepard! Your dreams, Commander. I hope you two, or however many you end up with, will be happy together. Damn right! Poonhound Shepard! Poonhound Shepard! <laughs> I feel bad for her, Shepard. I hope she'll be okay. Ash is pretty tough. She'll be fine. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry you were put in this position, but... I'm glad you chose me. <laughs> I Poonhound Shepard! I will continue this discussion here in the comm room, Shepard. You know where to find me if you want to have a more private conversation. <laughs> Poonhound Shepard! Anyway, I hope y'all had fun this episode. That's gonna be it for this one, so I hope y'all had fun. I'll see y'all in the next episode!